Hello everyone, welcome back. Bogmod here, playing more. Um, we're playing. We're playing uh, European Universalis 4, as I'm trying to figure out who would be the cheapest. What is the best place to be enhancing on uh, Treviso? Uh, Welsh Burn, though. Seven points, eh? There we are. One, two, three, four. I need one more place to have... Uh, uh, we're going to build a university in Padua, I believe. Uh, Padua, where is Padua? Let's find Padua. 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 It's one thing I don't need more of. It's manpower. There we go. Get a little more trade power. Because that always just gives you money. There we are. Bengkulu has become self-sustaining. But I have a focus right now. That we are going to have uh, colonial uh, California, Austrian California, will be ours. Think good for money? Uh, a couple. Alright. So I think my plan will be... Ooh, clinical discovery. 15 diplo, 15 admin. Uh, take the admin, I think, this time. Here's the thing. Once Padua finishes building its university, I'll put it up to 30 points. That gets us our fancy cities. I will, I'm okay to have aggressive Haida people for the cash. Hmm. Apparently there's gold here. I'll build a university. And the rebels? I didn't, I didn't quite pay attention to that. Mm. Munster has gone to war with the Danes. I'm okay with that. I lost another advisor, but that's okay. They could be replaced. We get this Joachim von Hatzfeld. Continue to be friends with the Lancasters. Pope is in control of the Pope. All right. I'll spend some points towards controlling the Pope myself. Oh my god, too many. 
Ah, Wallachia, right. Wallachia, I don't need access through you anymore. So, fighting the Ottoman. After. After our paper in Padua finishes. Ooh. What's tech at? Tech is still way ahead, so let's definitely take faster recruitment time with the National Conscripts. Minus 10% recruitment time. Excellent. Need another general, though. Growth of cities attracts serfs. Oh, yeah. I don't want. I don't want decreased morale for my armies. So we'll have to accept this. Sorry, nobles. I really should take these provinces, honestly. Or I should free Bulgaria. But I kind of want land for myself, right? You know, you know how it is. Leopold von Schomburg. Yes, I think it, I think it is due time to go to war with the Ottomans again. That's convenient. That's exactly the place I was sending my people to. So let's recall and send like that. Because very shortly, uh, that one will finish. By the time my colonist arrives there in nearly a year, we'll be good to go. Colonial Peru claimed by Spain. But I could go to war. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to hold on to my little province there. My little, little, my little outlier. I feel like I should eat this up for them, but and then I can take I can take that there for my, myself. Hmm. Yes, this is a good plan. So I will aim for Yeni Pizar. Uh, our armies would number two hundred thousand to their one hundred and fifty thousand. I'm going to take it. I should have had my armies closer, but is what it is.
Let the war begin! Ooh, which reminds me, I should move my fleets back. Um, move, them, move them somewhere safe. While I wage my war. And of course, increase my income. <clears throat> Internal conflicts in air. Let's try and be quick with some of these locations. Okay. Quick sieges are always a Good. a good opening start to the war, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like the Byz Byzantines have gone for Corfu. I don't know if they'll try and keep it though, but that's fine. They're welcome to it. I will focus on the bigger prize of Constantinople itself. Maybe I should take Constantinople itself. You know, that is a very tempting prospect. If I take Constantinople itself, Right? If I do that, that is a major loss for them. It is a 38 development province. It's got gems, which are valuable. Claim on it. All right, let's try and let's try and pick a fight. So as you can see, I maintain a decisive um, morale advantage. Morale isn't everything, of course, but it doesn't hurt. Outnumbered, of course, is always bad, but I've got reinforcements starting to come in. Like my Burgundians. Come on, boys. Make it in there, please. Thank you. Quick, and I can get to the other side here. A 
if I hold both sides of the crossing, I believe then I can, it doesn't matter if he has boats in the region or not. Hmm, so that attack might be problematic. Especially since I can't reinforce it. Oh, tech, eh? Could get the war galleons, but I don't really want to yet. So we're going to spend more points building up development. We're going to go the other way around, though, to places that are cheap to develop. Then again, if we win, are we going to win? Ooh, there we are. We got that province I wanted. Come on. Get a good roll. A good roll. Come on. Oh, no. <gasps> we did it. There we are. Yeah, and now I can cross over. Since I control both sides of it. Oh, this is great. That, that was the key part necessary to really inflict some damage. Now that I can move my troops and be enforced properly. Oh, well, things are good. As long as he doesn't do a weird sneak around. I think I'm okay for the moment. The walls of Constantinople have almost fallen. over. Avignon insulted me. Why would you do that, Avignon? We were such good friends. There we are. There is their army. I would like to fight their army. Let's see if we can fight them in the dry lands of Saruhan. Yep. And very soon, reinforcements will plow on in. And another win. There we are. Both sides of the straight are under our control. So it occurs to me, if I take this strip right here, I will have permanent access into Ottoman territory. Which isn't, isn't uh, at all a bad thing. Yep. Yeah, 
Yes, it does look like this and Alaska could be claimed for Austria. Good. Good. This would enrage the Ottomans. Don't care. It's a 29 point peace offer. That's not much, actually. Um, uh, Avalonia, I would like to give to Naples. You know what? Let's give Kruji to Naples as well. Peace offer, 39 points. That's not much. Which means I can get them to accept the peace. Setting them for another, for good, good fights going forward. Oh, perfect. Yeah, march on in, buddy. Without your generals. Commit to the move. Thank you. And we will destroy your army. I can see those big, big losses they're taking. Bam! Oh, one of my generals died. Actually, they need to stay put. You go there. Oh, my royal marriage with Byzantium is over. You know, I am. I'm starting to become inclined to think that maybe I don't want Byzantium. And then maybe I could force them into the empire. Well, that's an interesting prospect. Yeah, you know what? I think I might just do that. There we are. Segula has fallen. My truces with the French have ended. Means I could go to war with them again if I had a reason to. Ladislav Frenzitz. Not bad. You can go to Synop, I think. So now we're definitely getting into the heartland of them. Um, I, we'll make Ragusa like us. Marriage, no, I need to have my royal marriages with Burgundy. Duke Phillips de Valois, no legal heir. 30. So if you were to die, House Daharo. Hmm, interesting. Alright, because it's our Empress currently in charge. But France is almost of age. He's almost there. Just needs a few more years. And I think with this, I will have explored all that can be explored of the world. I'm going to build a, a manufacturer, though. Oh. 
Alright, this needs a proper response. So if I sacrifice these guys... I think I can take both. Improvements in lens making in liege. Uh, spectacle made from glass have come to replace the reading stones of older eras. Alright, so we're getting glasses. Uh, glass is becoming more valuable as a result. Big fight here. Big fight here. Close. Ah, uh, this one we've got. This one's a little tighter. It looks like we've taken it. Yep. Big win there. This one definitely taken. Oh, there we are. Big, glorious win for us. Lots of prestige, lots of army tradition. Some more exhaustion. More score. So, how are they feeling yet? Minus 18. So they're still like, mm, no. We may have had, we may have endured some crushing defeats right then and there. But we still got this in the bag. Which I think is adorable optimism. I'll leave that situation as it is. cost me a lot of lives, though. But those lives were worth it. Yep, yeah, spending a lot of money to, to reinforce my troops. As soon as a couple more forts fall, we will be good to go. There it is. Oh, not quite. Minus four still. Alright, well that's fine. There's a war going on here. Attacker against Gascony and the French second French conquest of Bordeaux. I kind of want to get involved in that. I kind of want to protect Gascony because it thwarts the French. Which we can do. I have a plan for that. Zero. Five. Take some money. Third Austrian conscious of Yanni Pizur. There we go. That's that's excellent. It's fantastic.
Which is I going to do? I'm going to go to Diplomacy. I'm going to... Well, I believe... I believe... Enforce Peace. French, no. They do not fear... Well, hold on, well, what about... Can I, can I demand... You'll join the one on the opposing side if the target refuses to accept the peace. Alright, well that means we're involved in this war. Suddenly, France has to deal with me and all of my goons joining in. Something they surely did not expect. But no one really ever expects it. Christians, can I get over there in time? I think so. Alright, so here's my question. If I decide I don't want Byzantium on my side anymore... Can I force them to join the Empire? Let's find out. Dissolve this alliance. And then if I can still go to war... Um, yeah, once my truce ends in five years... We'll see if I can make them join the Empire or not. And if not, well, maybe I'll make friends with them again. More land leader fire. Excellent. Man, you just have all the rebels all the time, don't you? Don't worry, Gascony. I'm a coming. My troops are a marching. I do want money right now, though. And I will build another manufactory. Another iron manufactory. Yes. Because that produces lots of the money for me. All my troops starting to pile on in. Those armies go. All right, forty K there, forty K there, eighty K in there. And then we'll see if we can, um, get down in here and, and, and liberate them. Because if we can, they will stick in the war longer. And they're the ones in control of the war. So, it's kind of vital we do that. Don't worry, Gascon. I'm bringing you reinforcements. There we are. Just like that. Uh. 
Yes, good. Good. Also, uh, since this guy's almost done, we will call you, and by the time that finishes... Seven, eh? I do like a seven. So send that there, right? Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to give them the best chance that they they can have. And so high development, obviously, you can do more with that. All right. So Gascon left the war. Geneva will be forced to face Gascony. Ten percent. Or sorry, Geneva. Yeah, Geneva's out of the war. This is fantastic, because I imagine there's at least a few provinces, maybe, that you have a, a claim for? No? Alright, Lorraine's out of it. War. Uh, how's text looking? Uh, 45. Again, I'm not going to get innovation out of it. Ooh, less unrest. I'll take that, please. Thank you. Armies marching. I'm headland to Burgundy, though, because maybe Gascony will be generous. Oh. Institution spread down, missionary strength up. I'm going to leave that one alone for now. Something we don't exactly need at the moment. There we are. We've saved their capital. Which is great, and I realize I've been going on way too long. So I'm going to take a little uh, little break right now, and uh, we'll come back. And we will continue to have grand times building up our Austrian nation. See you soon.